is a morning like every other. You wake up, get dressed, have breakfast, brush your teeth, pack your bag, and then you walk to school or work. However, there is just one difference. You are 100 meters below sea level. Now, this is not going to be your usual climate change talk. Have you ever thought about the impact global warming will have on where we live? Now, the idea of humans living underwater may not be as crazy as you think. An idea once reserved for movies and science fiction may be in fact much closer to reality than you realize. Living underwater does pose its fair share of challenges, cold temperatures and immense pressure, not to mention the lack of oxygen present. <laughs> However, there are promising new solutions correlating with the idea of underwater living that could tackle these issues and have humanity living underwater in the future. Now, global warming, as I'm sure you know, is an unusually rapid increase in Earth's average surface temperature, primarily due to greenhouse gases, which trap heat and prevent it from leaving the Earth's atmosphere, released as we burn fossil fuels. Temperatures are rising on Earth. Therefore, many ice caps and glaciers are melting, causing sea levels to rise. It has been calculated that if all the ice caps and glaciers were to melt, which they could do if temperatures continue to rise, global sea level would rise approximately 70 meters. Many small islands will be catastrophically affected with the risk of them being completely submerged. And every coastal city on the planet will be vulnerable to flooding, which would dramatically reshape continents and drown out many of the world's major cities. Now, let me tell you that some underwater habitats already exist. Whilst we were all focused on humans venturing into outer space in the 1960s, we were also diving into an uncharted underwater world. The explorer, Jacques Cousteau, made the idea of underwater living a reality, bringing it to fruition in the early 1960s. He was a French oceanographer, researcher, and undersea explorer who ignited the interest for the ocean and the possibility for underwater cities. Cousteau then created the Conshell series, a collection of underwater habitats. These structures allow oceanauts to live underwater for weeks at a time at a full 100 meters below the surface. His efforts laid the foundation for underwater cities and in the late 60s and early 70s, more than 60 underwater habitats were created. Now, I'm sure we all know of the popular tropical Maldives, an archipelago in the Indian Ocean that's home to many lush resorts, a hotspot for holidays, and personally on the top of my holiday bucket list. However, according to the CIA, the low elevation of the islands makes them vulnerable to flooding. And at the current rate of global warming, almost 80% of the Maldives could become unhabitable by 2050. Therefore, the Maldives are already looking for their solution. How does staying underwater in the Maldives for a cool $50,000 a night sound to you? <laughs> Architect Ahmed Salim designed a nine-person underwater villa, the Muraka, which opened at the Conrad Maldives Rangelai Island Resort in 2018. The Muraka is named after coral in the Maldives' native language, the way the two-story villa rests on the ocean floor, more than 16 feet below the surface. It is composed of steel, concrete, and acrylic glass, with both a spiral staircase and private elevator to aid guests with their descent below, below the surface. Once underwater, only glassy tunnels and see-through walls separate the adjacent tropical reef and the spacious living quarters. The construction of the Muraka was both innovative and environmentally conscious. Each piece of the 600 ton lower level was built in Singapore before being transported to the Maldives via a specialized ship. Then it was anchored firmly in place using 10 concrete pilings, which ensure the villa does not shift away amidst high tides. The architect also opted to work with marine biologists to ensure the villa does not disrupt the surrounding seabed, including the coral from which it derives its name. Now, let me tell you that not only do some smaller underwater habitats are created, but whole cities are being developed as we speak. Architects at the Shimizu Corporation have already designed a $26 billion project to create an underwater city. 
And the companies say this structure would allow thousands of humans to live very comfortably underwater. It is named the Ocean Spiral City, and it would sit below sea level off the coast of Tokyo. With its massive turbines, the city would power itself through the power of the waves, tides, and ocean currents, supporting those who lived on the structure. Not only this, but it would include schools, laboratories, and beautiful residential areas, and could hold over 5,000 people. And they say the structure could become a reality by about 2030. Now, we really do need to be thinking about the consequences of rising sea levels. Let's take a look at Tonga, where the issue of rising sea levels is not just one for discussion, as it proves a threat to their very existence. A Fafar Island resort, a small island just 20 minutes from Tonga's capital, tourists have the opportunity to sleep in traditional Polynesian huts right by the beach. Or well, they do so for now. Vincent Morris, who manages the hotel with his wife, points out the erosion caused by the sea level rises, which means eventually the huts will have to be moved back into the centre of the island. Not only this, but he says that the restaurant and bar area have already had to be moved back because of the rising sea levels. As he points out what was once the beach, but is now five to 10 metres out at sea. We're fighting the inevitable, he says, as he points to the makeshift defences the resort has had to put in place to hold back the increasingly fierce tides. And when asked if in 100 years the island would still exist, his response was, absolutely not. We should all be thinking about these consequences of global warming, because soon there will be no turning back, and our future truly will be underwater. Thank you.